this is going to be Ed Tarot, an Oracle card message for Aries. So if you have Aries in a major chart placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus, this could be for you. Even if you don't have it, it can still be for you because if it showed up on your homepage or you felt drawn to it, obviously, it could absolutely be Spirit just saying, hey, this, this resonates with you, so watch it. And if it does, because it is a general collective reading, you do need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. If it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, just let it go. This reading is meant to be timeless, so it shouldn't matter when I create or post a reading. What truly matters is when you find it on your homepage. That's when you were supposed to see it. So let's use this messages from the mermaids deck to find out what you need to know. Let's kick it off. What important message would you like the person watching to know? What's in their highest good to know? What is going to help guide them? So obviously there's something you're wanting or maybe you're having challenges in your life and you're fighting the current. You know, it's like if you get washed out in the current, the current sucks you out to sea and you fight it, you risk drowning a lot more than if you just let it take you where it's going to take you and don't fight it. So we have go with the flow here. So there is a need for you to go with the flow. Don't try to fight the challenges. Don't try to fight. Just kind of um, let them take you. Let this journey take you where it's meant to take you. Don't fight it. Try to learn, you know, learn from it, obviously. But so go with the flow. What else, spirits? Anything else from this deck? Um, this is actually starting to, to seem like a manifestation lesson for you because we also have expressed gratitude. In, you know, in manifestation one, you think about it and you say, okay, you know, um, I am money, I am love, this person loves me, money's coming to me. You say it in the past tense as, as if it's already happened is actually even better than, um, than saying it's coming, saying it is here and envisioning how it would feel, envisioning it actually happening, um, but also taking the inspired action towards doing it as much as you need to. But in the end, it's while you're doing that, expressing gratitude for the little things. Uh, living in the moment, even though, you know, while you're waiting for your order to arrive, your package to arrive from the universe, knowing that you ordered it, knowing that it will be here, just like if you ordered an Amazon package, you know, hey, you know what? I ordered it, it's coming. Um, you know that you can call up the company and say, hey, you know, if, if there's any kind of, um, a problem with it. They're there to support you. They have customer support. So expressing gratitude for, you know, what you know is coming to you, but also what you have in the now, living in the moment. So like I said, this is definitely starting to sound like a manifestation lesson, but we have go with the flow. So that also is surrender. Let go and let God and just go with it and know that you ordered it. It's coming and just live your life Go about your life, do what you need to do, and anything that comes up, know that it is a challenge uh, lesson, and anything that's challenging is a lesson. Okay, what is this, Spirits? Tell me more. I feel like there's somebody here that you're remembering, so this might be a love situation. You're remembering them, and you're reflecting on pictures, and you're kind of, um, we have the, the, key, the card here, memories, so she's got these pictures down here um, that she's, you know, having this nostalgia over. And so that maybe makes you sad and makes you kind of want to rush things, but you have to go with the flow, express gratitude and have patience. Have patience with whatever that situation is. So they're letting you know that that's what this situation, that's what this reading is about, is this person or, I mean, I guess it could be family member or a friend, but chances are it's probably a love situation. Um, you're just sitting there and you're reflecting and you're you're kind of maybe you're even dwelling in it so you need to have patience here go with the flow express gratitude can we get one more from this deck please can we get one more two more yeah breaking free and contemplation so yeah you're you're looking at the pictures and you're contemplating so this is also going in hermit mode you know we talk about this stuff a lot um it comes out a lot 
because it's important. It's an important part of this journey. And, you know, I'm doing these readings from day to day for kind of the same group of people, pretty much, you know, twin flames are also, that's why we can call it the general collective because it's all it's this twin flame storyline, if that's what we're talking about. But um, that's why, um, you know, spirit has us make these videos and then they, they take it and put it on the pages of people that it's gonna fit their situation. So we have this contemplation. You're contemplating breaking free or maybe you need to break free from this situation. Now, because you're you're just sitting here dwelling on the memories and you're not going with the flow. You're fighting it every step of the way. So you need to have patience, relax, express gratitude, break free from, and it could be breaking free from this person. We know that with the twin flame journey, if that's what we're talking about, the divine feminine has to come to surrender. She ha she does have to basically break free of the, the chains that, that keep her. Look at this octopus. This octopus is trying to like cling to her. So that's talking to me about a codependency. You need to break free from that codependent clinging. This octopus is clinging to her body here. So you need to break free. So that's gonna be you going in hermit mode with this contemplation here. Um, so break free from clinging with those memories, from sitting around looking at pictures and, and just thinking about it and dwelling on it. Let's try to get a little bit more. Yeah, you're thinking about the future. You're contemplating about the future, but in order to get to that future, you have to break free from the codependency, from the clinginess. So let's find out a little more. Um, let's use the Moonology deck. What's going to happen in this situation or what else do we need to know? Believe in the impossible wants to come out. Let's see if that comes out. Did you see that pop out? Did I put it back in good? Did you see it pop out? What did I just said and wanted to pop out? Do you see it? Believe in the impossible. Shit happens all the time to me. I told you I'm gonna make a compilation tape of all the times when I say something wants to pop out and then it pops out. Or I say, you know, I get this feeling like, oh, I think it, sometimes I'll just split the deck and say, oh, this wants to pop out and then boom, it'll pop out. This happens all the time, they do this to me. Believe in the impossible. And I love those moments. I love them, Spirit. Thank you so much. I don't know if you can see that. I was not making that shit up. It wanted to come out. So you might think this is impossible. You might think you might get to the point where you're just like, you know, this is sad. It's over. Um, it's never going to happen. I can't be with this person. Whatever this is. Now, let me look at these. Pick these. It could be not a love situation. It could be go with the flow, express gratitude. You're thinking about memories. It could be some other kind of memories, I guess. Contemplating, breaking free from whatever this is. Thinking about the future, believing the possible. So this, take it how it resonates with you, but I'm getting love vibes, especially with the memories as she's holding those pictures. It could be memories of something else. There is a need for you to work through your fears. So do that shadow work with that contemplation. What do we say there? Work through your fears. Why do you have fears? Because you got hurt. So while you do that, you and your loved ones are safe. So you might think, you know, I don't know if I'm safe to do this. Yes, you're safe. There are some adjustments required in this situation though. There are some adjustments required. You know, I picked up the moon deck. So definitely, you know, things needing to be revealed path being illuminated so i would meditate and contemplate here to get that information of what's required what's what adjustments i'll try to get something out here let me um try to do like an advice card deck to find out like what adjustments what adjustments are required spirit what adjustments are required let's see Which deck am I wanting to use here? Power of Love. Let's look at that. Let's use that. By James Von Prague. The Power of Love. Yeah. Can you tell me more about the situation? I don't think we're doing six months to a year yet because that's what we do when, when we go into the bonus extended reading and we're not there yet, I don't think. I hope I didn't say that earlier. Sometimes I get so in the habit of saying things that out my mouth it comes. Um, what else here is, what is adjustments are required? What's the fear or what are adjustments are required? What 
well, adjustments are required tolerance. You need to be tolerant, which is also like patience, which we had patients come out. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. So you also have to be tolerant of somebody else's point of view here. And this is funny because we had gratitude. What did we say earlier? We already had a gratitude card. So it's gonna be very important. I don't know if that's the adjustments that are required, but it's very important in this situation, very, since we have it come out twice, that you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So this is telling you not only to express gratitude for what you have, but express gratitude for this situation because it was a lesson. It doesn't mean you won't get with this person because we have worked through your fears. We have believed in the impossible and we have the future coming out here, so. And we have compassion. So be tolerant of this other person's beliefs. You know that they might be different from you, but also experience, um, express compassion. It says you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing the living love. So express compassion with this person. Can we get more cards on maybe what adjustments? So that, that could be the adjustments. Be tolerant, be patient, be compassionate. And also with the universe, express gratitude for this as a lesson. Let me use this. Um, and there might be other adjustments. So if, we, if maybe there's a card, maybe there's no card in all of my decks, it'll tell you what adjustments need to be made. So maybe you need to go ahead and um, meditate and contemplate on that. So definitely still meditate and contemplate to figure out if there's anything else to this message. And flew out and fell on the ground. The abundant universe will provide. This is number 10. So you're going to the, you're almost at the end of a cycle and this abundant universe will provide for you. So believe in the impossible. Work through your fears. Your future is bright. But you do have to break free. Probably, yeah, we have freedom is yours. Horse spirit. And this is number 33, which breaks down to six. Six is love. So in love, freedom is yours. You have to break free from that codependency. Love freely. Love even if you can't be with that person. Learn how to love the person anyway from a distance. And know that you're not separate. But this also says make your dreams real. Number 56, which breaks down to 11. 11 is manifestation. So believe in the impossible. Make your dreams real. So I feel like there's a good chance for whoever this is for that, you know, this person that you're, you're, that you're thinking about, that you're, you know, contemplating about, that you are reminiscing about, that's the word I wanted to use, that you're clinging to. I believe that if you break free, you are manifesting this person back, but you have to, to work through your fears and get over your abandonment wounds and get out of this um, codependent energy here. We have crow spirit, co-create with spirit. It's number 17, which breaks down to eight. Eight is abundance. So we had here, um, the abundant universe will provide. Make your dreams real. So we have manifesting energy. We have end of a cycle energy, but there is something about being free, free from this codependency, free from the pain free from pains of past hurts reclaim your power take back your power by doing this shadow work it's number 44 44 breaks down to eight eight is abundance we have several abundant cards here abundance cards here act as if this is number and learn from the past so we're gonna probably just go ahead and stop there but act as if act as if you've already got it what did we say earlier Act as if you've already got it. This is number 14, which breaks down to five. Five is changes, big changes. We also have elephant spirit learned from the past. This is number 25 that breaks down to seven. Seven is good luck. So again, you're going to be going into a new lucky cycle here. And if you learn from the past, if you learn from the past, that's when you, once you learn that lesson, and once you're grateful for that lesson, you learn that lesson and you're grateful for it, that's going to move you into a new cycle where you have a lucky cycle of abundance coming in. But to get there, you have to learn from the past, work through your fears, do that shadow work, contemplate, break free from the codependent energy, stop dwelling on the memories, have patience, act as if, as if you've already got it, it's already yours, reclaim your damn power, because you are a beast, you are a panther beast. 
the abundant universe will provide. So believe in the impossible, but you also, there's adjustments required here, needing to be tolerant, patient, and compassionate with this person, needing to see this other person appreciate their points of view because you have, because you sense the love in everyone, be compassionate. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and, and living love. So be compassionate, but break free of that codependent, anything that's toxic, anything that's not serving you, anything that's not good for you, break free or distance yourself. While you're doing the shadow work, you're, you and your loved ones are safe. So that is what we have for this part of the reading. Now we're gonna go into a bonus extended reading where we find out what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner. Um, don't, I'm not sure if I went through timing, um, on this last one, if I started mentioning it, sometimes I forget that I'm not in the bonus extended yet. So um, that is what we're going to do. We're going to find out more what you need to know in the next six months to a year or sooner. Is, is something great going to come in in the next six months to a year or sooner? I know abundance is coming in. The universe will provide. I know you need to believe in the impossible. So that suggests maybe the impossible is possible. Um, but you got to, you know, you got some work to do here. But um, these dreams are you manifesting them? Will it happen in the next six months to a year or sooner if you do what's suggested here? Let's find out more. Let's find out um, what's coming in for you in the next six months to a year or sooner. Plus, we'll pull some advice cards, some charm cards, maybe some law of attraction cards to find out what you can do. Maybe get more advice on what you can do to bring this in more smoothly. And let's see, do we even know if this is love? I'm pretty sure it is, but maybe we'll get some cards to kind of clarify that. So if you want to watch the bonus extended reading go down below click the link it takes you over my patreon you'll notice it's only five dollars and 55 cents and that's not just for this one bonus extended reading it's actually for um exclusive access for all of my bonus extended readings that i've done up until this point and all of the readings that i do going forward for whatever time period you pay for so check that out it's worth it um like i said it's only a five dollar and 55 cent investment and you get so much information and, you know, I mean, it's, it's guiding you to your happiness with your twin, to your abundance. So I see it as an investment, a very minimal investment. Um, and it helps support my channel and keep me doing these readings. So I do appreciate those of you that join my club um, and get that extra details. So um, you get the leg up there out of everybody else who just watches the first part. So definitely go there and check that out. Make sure you click subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put out another video so you don't miss any great details. And definitely click like and share the video and by all means, please comment down below to let me know if this resonates with you. Do you think this is for you? Is there anything that stood out here? And definitely um, put an affirmation down below that I believe in the impossible. Act as if. So, you know, put down what it is you're bringing in as it's already happened. I am co-creating with, with spirit. I, the abundant, the abundant universe will provide. Write that stuff down below. Okay, so we're going to go down to um, the bonus extended now. So meet me there and we will dig into what else you need to know here. What is going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? Maybe even what is this about? Is this love? I'm pretty sure it is um, that you're trying to manifest here. You know what you're manifesting and you know what you've been reminiscing about. Does that, let me know down in the comments below if that res resonates with you. Have you been reminiscing? Have you been looking at their pictures and kind of being sad about it? Let me know. Are you being impatient? <laughs> so like, we have that tolerance, which basically means patience and balance. So uh, be tolerant of the situation, of the person, of their thoughts, if their thoughts aren't, you know, the same as yours. But anyway, if you want a personal reading, you can go on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. See you in the bonus extended.